Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with meteorologist Ashley Renee. Hi, good morning everyone and welcome back. Happy Monday. Hopefully it's going well for you so far. So we are still talking about these higher temperatures for today and also a little bit of rain, not enough rain. We definitely need plenty more, but we could have a possible chance for shower activity later on this afternoon. But before I get more into that, here's a quick look outside at our sky cam. Still 80 degrees, feels like 84, but a nice beautiful view on this Monday morning. But of course, I wish it was cooler, but still talking about the muggy conditions that we are dealing with. So now let's go ahead and move on into the rest of our forecast information. So again, highs will be around 104 today. We also have a heat advisory and there's that slight chance for shower activity. Looking at your heat index values will be around 115 for Denham Springs, 112 for Baton Rouge and 114 for Plaquemine. And we have a heat advisory that will be expiring around 8 p.m. for tonight. Now the heat advisory is covering all of Southeast Louisiana, but we do see an excessive heat warning covering Southwest Louisiana and parts of southwest Louisiana and our central Louisiana parishes. So we also have a red flag warning in effect for today. With the drought conditions, extreme drought conditions, drier conditions we've had, little rainfall and also breezy winds that we'll have later on for today, that will contribute to critical fire weather. So again, abide by all local and statewide burn bans to keep everyone safe. Now, taking a look at radar, we do have some showers passing by along the coast. We see some easterly winds bringing these shower activity just for our coastal towns. Now, while it's still mostly dry for us here this morning in Baton Rouge, again, we could possibly get some rain activity later today, but better chances will be remaining along the coast. And that's due to this tropical wave that's still moving through the Gulf. And before I came up here, the chance for development into a tropical storm has actually been up to about 80%. So I'm going to have to update that. But again, this tropical wave still moving westward through the Gulf and we see the easterly wind flow helping shower activity to move along the coast. Now again, later today, we'll start to have breezier winds and that's from that tropical wave moving by. Now while we could see some more isolated showers moving through again, towns along the coast have a better chance of receiving that rain than we do here in Baton Rouge. And our overnight conditions will be clearer. We'll still have mostly clear sky, drier weather conditions than going into Tuesday. Could possibly have another isolated shower, but overall still looking at another mostly dry and hot week for our area. Overnight lows will be near 80. And then for tomorrow, our highs will be around 100 once again. And we'll possibly have another heat advisory for your Tuesday. And we're still looking at easterly wind flow to continue for tomorrow. Now we've still been influenced by this high pressure, this strong high pressure, which has helped us remain hot and dry dry for these last few weeks and still going into this work week. Now looking at your heat index values, we'll be getting close to 120 as we get to the end of the week. So again, very dangerous heat. You already know all the heat safety tips, so make sure you're following that to protect yourself your loved ones and your pets too, to protect everyone from experiencing heat stress conditions. Now looking at your seven day forecast, highs will still be around 105 as we get into Wednesday and Thursday. And again, heat index values will be closer to 120 for those days.